Hi everyone, I'm Casey Callahan, Senior Consultant at Umbrella Consulting. Thanks for joining me for a CISPRO Quick Tip. In this video, I'll be showing how to use SRS Document Archiving in CISPRO 8. If you like these videos, be sure to hit subscribe or give it a like. SRS Document Archiving can be used to keep copies of generated SRS documents stored within CISPRO. It can be enabled for any SRS document, such as invoices, statements, purchase orders, and more. To set up SRS document archiving, from your SysPro main menu, up at the top ribbon bar under Setup, Stationary Formats, we'll be going down to the bottom under SRS document setup. From SRS document setup, we can choose a specific document that we'll be creating or enabling archiving for. So further down here, I'll select under my invoice. Under templates, you will see any SRS format, uh, formatted invoice template that might be installed. And there may be multiple of these, depending if there are multiple invoice formats uh, for your single company or other companies that happen to have different formats. For the specific format that you'd like to enable, uh, that you'd like to enable um, archiving for, you can select change document. And then from here, I can simply select the checkbox here to archive document and select an archive type. There are two different types of file formats that you can choose to enable archiving for. SysPro will simply keep a copy of both um, or it will keep a copy of the selected formats. So whether that's your traditional PDF or an RPT file, which is similar to a Crystal Reports format, you have the choice here to define on which archive type that you can select. Once selected, you can select save and close. In order to view your SRS archive documents, under your program list, under SRS documents, you'll find a folder here of document archive viewers. There are different document archive viewer programs specific for the type of document, which can be configured to have security access, restricting or allowing access to the specific archive viewer of choice. For our example, we'll be going under sales order invoice, and I can choose a specific filter. I can also filter off of a handful of fields that may be installed. So I can select all transactions. And what we'll see on the screen here is a number of invoices that have been generated along with the date, who had generated the document, which customer code and the invoice number. I can select an invoice and will populate from the archive. One difference here is we won't have our print button up in the toolbar, but we'll use the PDF viewer from that's installed on the computer, so I can select print here, or I can save this outside of CISPRO if required. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new from this video. If there's any questions or something specific you'd like to learn how to do in CISPRO 8, please leave a comment below. To learn more about Umbrella Consulting, visit us at umbrellaconsulting.ca.